Hey there, thanks for tuning in. Um, if you haven't seen some of my videos before, my name is Lute Atia. I'm the Chief Operating Officer of the American Business and Technology University. And uh, last week we started a video series and that was basically 10 questions you should be asking a school to avoid problem schools. And I had some great questions come in after the Facebook Live session, so I thought I would uh, do a quick video to address those questions. And I've got a, a, a big announcement that uh, I'll let you know about here shortly. But first, I want to get into these two quick questions and uh, see if I can help answer these for anybody. And I think they're questions that uh, a lot of people ask when they're looking into uh, finishing their degree or going back to school. So the first one was, uh, you know, tell me about accreditation. Tell me about what a school goes through to gain accreditation. And the second question was, how do I know if my school is accredited by the right type of accreditor? Because a lot of schools say they're accredited, and sometimes that means they're accredited by a recognized agency, and, and sometimes it doesn't. So I'm going to just do a quick uh, answer here to help you distinguish between the two different types of accreditation and uh, how to verify that type of information. So the, the most common type of accreditation that you're gonna wanna look for is institutional accreditation. It means the whole school is accredited and not, not just a specific program or area of study. So the, the, the accreditation process is essentially a big quality assurance program that uh, a school will submit its courses, its, its books, its outlines, teachers, uh, resumes, everything, completion rates, graduation rates, student satisfaction rates, it all goes into play. And a organization, a non-government organization, which is typically a nonprofit uh, group that has education standards and it's built and maintained by basically peers, other educators, will evaluate all of this and uh, determine if a school is you know, being fair or providing a quality education to, to students. Uh, they look at things like refund policies and they look at former, you know, past complaints, former students, they'll call students and graduates. So, you know, it's a pretty in-depth process. It takes a long time. Uh, I, don't, I don't think many people realize that are outside of, of the industry that, you know, to gain initial accreditation, it can take, uh, you know, two to three years. And to renew accreditation, because it has to be renewed sometimes every three, five, seven, ten years, depending on the agency, it can take a school 12 to 18 months just to prepare for that renewal. So it's a, it's a pretty large uh, process. It's a very important one. So hopefully now you have a little bit of a better understanding on um, what goes into it. And you know, when you, when you start asking yourself, well, why is this information important to me? You, know, if you want to be able to do your own research so you're not just taking somebody's word for it. And there are two very important websites that you can use to verify that you know if your creditor is in fact one of the recognized accreditors and that your school is is accredited, uh, the first one is called the National Advisory Committee on Institutional Quality and Integrity. It's in short, it's called NSEKI, and the second one is CHEA, C H E A, coordinating uh, the Council on Higher Education and Accreditation. And these two agencies are external of accrediting agencies. So you have your schools, you have your accrediting agencies, and you have the agencies above that. So there's multiple levels of accountability, and uh, these organizations are a great way to find out if your school and or accreditor are on these lists, and their websites are in the description below. But between these two organizations, you can be comfortable that your school and accreditor uh, are uh, were, you know, noteworthy or considered to be uh, industry standard and quality. So those are, uh, those are two very important, you know, references that you want to keep if you're shopping for a school. So if you're, um, if you're in a school right now and you want to check, it's also a great tool to use. Again, if you're shopping for a school, that's a good place to start. If you're a current or former student of ABTU, then uh, you can be comfortable that your school and accreditor are both listed uh, in those appropriate places. You know, so the bottom line is you know, accreditation is designed to protect the consumer, which is in this case uh, a student, somebody finishing, pursuing their degree or getting training. And you've probably, you know, read in the news in the past year or two some of the bigger schools that have had trouble with accreditors and various agencies, uh, including the Department of Ed, and have ultimately closed down because of it. So it is a, it's a very rigorous process. It's something that, um, you know, you should take very seriously when picking a school. And uh, I know that schools take very seriously. And with that in mind, uh, let me get to uh, my announcement, which is that 
ABTU, our university, actually received its reaccreditation uh, letter last week, and that reaccredits us through the year 2020. Uh, it's a huge milestone, and uh, I want to take a minute and congratulate everybody at the university for a job well done. It takes a lot of effort. Everybody gives 110%. And I know the students appreciate it, and uh, they show their thanks by you know their 93% average student satisfaction rate, and that is something that we're very proud of and we're very happy uh, to share with everybody. So uh, in closing, if you have any questions about accreditation, you can uh, reach out to us on our website, you can call, you can comment in the description. Uh, you can also email me directly and uh, we'll, we're happy to talk about it. If you have any questions about our programs or any of our 100% uh, online live delivery programs or any of our training, just reach out to us. We're happy to answer questions. And uh, if you're out there shopping, please use these tools. It'll be very helpful. You can also call accrediting agencies. You can call these organizations. You can call a state. Uh, you know, look, find out where the school's headquarters is and talk to that state agency. There's a lot of different ways you can verify if a school's in good standing or not. They may not give you a lot of details, but they'll just simply tell you, yes, the school's in good standing. Uh, or no, it's not. Or they'll help direct you to where some information that might be helpful, such as graduation rates. So I'll leave you with that. Again, any questions, please feel free to comment and uh, or email me and I will get back to you immediately. Thanks for watching and I look forward to uh, another video next week. Take care.